Hello everyone, my name is Boris Kerman and I'm a registered nurse. This video is filmed for nursing class 4900 at Capella University and it is about intervention presentation and capstone reflection. I would like to thank Dr. Krauss for guiding me in this course in creating the project on how to prevent pressure ulcers in the hospitals. Contribution of my intervention to patient and family satisfaction and quality of life. The content that I'm going to present in this clip is about the experience of preparing and delivering patient-centered and valued care as an intervention to hospital-acquired pressure sores. The study was based on the increased suffering and cost that the patients incur due to faults that arise at the hospital and that add to the complications that they do not expect to face when care is delivered to them. In my capstone project, I was able to assess the cause of the hospital-acquired bed sores and how patient-centered care and value-based care enhanced by leadership and management can relieve this burden in the existing healthcare system. I employed several interventions based on patient oriented and valued grounded care to improve the responsibility of every individual to play a role in enhancing patient safety and quality of care to prevent the condition. Overall, the project was successful as the healthcare providers, patients, and their families assisted in focusing on the various approaches utilized to reduce the occurrence of bed sores that increase the cost of care delivery and diminish the value coming from the relatives and friends in the community. Speed at all 2018. The application of education to the families and healthcare provider training on preventing hospital-acquired pressure sores was successful. It reduced patient suffering due to pressure sores that they were not admitted with. Emphasis on collaboration on um, healthcare provision by all healthcare providers also improved the quality of care provided to the patients since each healthcare professional, including the physicians, accepted the responsibility of assisting the nurses in improving patient care by closely monitoring the patients in the hospital setting. Providing information to everyone about the importance of working in collaboration to manage the patient's condition also helped assess the satisfaction of the patients who had history of pressure sores and the lesson they had learned from the hospital experience. Having the physicians, community healthcare nurses, social workers, and family representatives on board assisted in offering compelling explanations on how to deal with hospital-acquired pressure sores. The healthcare providers and the patients who were the prominent participants in the intervention, along with my own family members who were utilized as volunteers for this project, provided a constructive reaction to the interventions used to manage the pressure source burden acquired in the hospital. The influence of family involvement also helped get vital data on the root cause of the wounds obtained in the hospital settings. During the assessment and participation of the community members, it was evident that the family members were not happy with that source acquired in the hospital and they were willing to ensure that the situation was eliminated by all means. The healthcare providers I worked with also helped explain the importance of the involvement of the families and community members in advocating for patient safety in quality care to prevent hospital-acquired wounds. A broad and in-depth explanation was uh, provided on how society can deal with hospital-acquired sores without leaving the task to the healthcare providers. To improve the quality of care, the targeted individuals uh, recorded an enhanced knowledge of the variety of techniques applied to reduce pressure sores in the hospitals. Consistently engaging the family members and healthcare personnel provided the best platform to improve quality of care. Both staff and clients were well equipped with the information on impacts of mismanagement of patients that cause more harm and the costly extended hospital stays. The participants also agree that bed sores acquired in the hospitals increase the social and psychological effects on everyone concerned about quality healthcare. The intervention that I applied served as the best strategy to change most healthcare workers' perception that caring for the patients was the role of the nurses alone. The success of my effort was also realizable from the reduced hospitalizations of the patients with pressure sores. The majority of the families reported that the patients could be cared for at home to avoid the burden they put on the healthcare providers to care for patients who can perform a regular turning and reduce the cost of doing the same in the hospital setting. 
The intervention enhanced the feeling of the patients and family members since they regularly reported that they have a responsibility and extraordinary effect on managing the hospital acquired bed source through continuous consultation with the healthcare team. Apart from demonstrating the importance of quality care and patient-based interventions, the hospitalized patients were also willing to go home and continue with management of the bed source at their homes, since they believed that the family members could also assist in enhancing the healing of the source. They were able to reduce the cases of hospital-acquired bed sores at the hospital setting, and the healthcare provider only remained with a few pressure sores to care for in the organization. The use of evidence and peer-reviewed literature to plan and implement my capstone project. From the onset of the idea, planning and implementation of the capstone project, I based my analysis and reasoning on reliable nursing and healthcare related articles. Most of the articles that I studied were about pressure source and research carried out about hospital acquired pressure source and the impacts on patient safety and quality of care. For instance, in an article by Howard, 2019, he states that nursing sensitivity and improved methodology for enhancing quality of care are adequate when patients are involved as a measure of the quality. His idea helped me come up with patient-based interventions and consider the methods that can be applied to manage hospital-acquired pressure ulcers. Since most patients who acquire wounds due to laying on the hospital beds over a long period had developed a negative perception of care provided at the hospitals, I was aware that finding strategies involving them in their care was easy to enhance management of the condition they faced. The outcomes of those who had pressure sores that they did not come with at the hospital and those admitted with minor sores that were further complicated also made me apply principles of evidence-based care in coming up with effective interventions. I further researched different books and scholarly articles that were reviewed, especially those on the PubMed and the Capella University's library to get adequate evidence in finding the solution to the disorder. I provided evidence of what is paid for performance in healthcare, Catalyst 2018, to convince the healthcare providers, caregivers, families, volunteers, and patients about the importance of ensuring that the best quality of care is to be delivered to the hospitalized patients. In general, the utilization of evidence-based and peer-reviewed literature improved the positive outcome for the project. Data to show that the effective intervention was readily available and the participants could easily access them was also described in my capstone project. The degree to which I successfully leveraged healthcare technology in my capstone project to improve outcomes. Healthcare technologists were very instrumental in the implementation of the capstone. The utilization of different technology, especially the remote monitoring aspect of telehealth, greatly assisted my project. The digitalization in the remote monitoring system that allowed it to tap patient data and transmit it to the healthcare providers assisted in close monitoring of patient positions to prevent the development of the source. The prompts and alarms that reminded the healthcare providers when it was time to care for the patients also helped minimize the development of complicated pressure sores at the hospital. Patients whose wounds were cared for at home after discharge could report and consult on the changes that occurred on the patients. Remote monitoring further eased patient data access irrespective of the geographic location. The technology also helped lower the cost and improve the efficacy of managing hospital-acquired bed sores by ensuring that patients could report their problems early. I suggest that the technology be enhanced and implemented to reduce other complications apart from hospital-obtained pressure ulcers, such as hospital-acquired infections. The continuous advancements should be applied and installed in most remote areas to allow the healthcare providers to monitor the patients at their office instead of solely depending on patients and their families in observing and transmission the data about the health status of the client. The advancements will enhance the reliability and validity of the interventions applied to manage all healthcare conditions. 
how health policy influenced the planning and implementation of my capstone project. As a licensed registered nurse, I remained vigilant in improving and implementing healthcare policies. Sensitiveness in uh, healthcare policies greatly influenced my planning and intervention since I had to ensure that I adhered to quality improvement and patient safety policy in each step. I ensured patient safety, evidence basis, and improved patient data confidentiality not to tamper with the top patient rights. Activities in the program included the application of technology to improve care for patients with pressure sores inside and discussions with my own family members as volunteers outside the hospital work towards enhancing healthcare quality. The patients and families from low-income and poverty-stricken communities were considered by ensuring that the conditions, prevalence, and incidents are reduced to eliminate the burden they face. Views on the patients and healthcare providers were considered to improve the current healthcare province existing policies as well. Analysis of whether the capstone project outcomes matched my initial predictions. The results of the capstone project exceptionally matched my initial prediction. A few elements were not met based on my early prediction due to restrictions on the ongoing pandemic, making it harder to work with families in person. A variety of the project achievements were related to the objectives I had set at the start of the project. The capstone project was able to enlighten the whole population involved in ensuring the quality of healthcare and how it is involved by preventing and effectively managing hospital-acquired pressure sores about the importance of collaboration in the care. The feedback from volunteers and patients on the benefit of managing hospital-acquired pressure sores showed that the intervention exceeded even the earlier expectations. I anticipated that the interventions that I had out in place could take long, but the changes in behavior to assist in managing the condition started to manifest themselves earlier. I believe that the healthcare system managers, healthcare organizations, and the volunteers I work with will consider the intervention that I had put to prevent the bed sores that patients acquire in the hospitals. The intervention involved people who are even outside the healthcare system, but also play a significant role in improving the quality of care. Therefore, the broad concerns in enhancing the management of pressure sores will be sorted if the technique is applied. The difficulties that are faced in managing the condition can be solved by explaining to everyone the importance of improving healthcare delivery through collaboration. Quality and patient-centered care cut across the healthcare system, and it is an effective measure to promote health and patient safety. Personal and professional growth throughout the Capstone Project. The Capstone Project has made me enhance my research skills, develop professional skills, and understand the ethical aspect in healthcare. I have gained knowledge that professional standards and enhancing patient values are important and applicable when attending to all patients with different conditions. I have also developed my management skills as a nurse and can utilize the management techniques to improve the quality of healthcare delivery. Conclusion. The Capstone Project has given a piece of detailed information on the management and prevention of hospital-acquired pressure ulcers to benefit everyone in the community and reduce suffering and financial burden. The interventions were applied to improve the general healthcare quality. The application of technology also enhanced the accomplishment of the set objectives identified in the beginning of my Capstone Project. Thank you all for watching. Bye.